Hey what's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over my new computer. It's not necessarily to show off, but to kind of go over my build and show you what's up. For the case I went with an Anoxia Deep Silence 2. The reason for that is because it had a radiator mount and the motherboard was quite large. So it's kind of like the Defiant R4 or R5, but it's a lot longer. Case fans were an easy choice. They were provided by Noctua. The NFS-12s are quite good and quiet. And the case panels feature some noise dampening foam that reduces noise. So we'll take off the side panel to reveal the ASUS X99E WS. The reason this motherboard was chosen is because it's one of the few workstation based motherboards that supports a particular socket. And it sports seven delicious PCIe 3.0 slots. The board features high quality components, including all Nichicon capacitors rated at 12K. And as you can see, it's packed with surface mount components. Something that makes me feel tingly is that the chokes are gold. The amount of components that they stuffed on this board is amazing. This is behind the VRM cooling and you can just see all the stuff. Here's the componentry of the onboard sound. I have my Firewire card, but you know, it's good to know that it's there. Underneath the water block is an Intel i7-5960X. It is 8 cores, 16 threads, and I effortlessly overclocked it to 4.4 GHz but then I turned it down to a more conservative clock speed. Pretty much because I like to stick around 1.2 volts. It cost a pretty penny, but it's worth it to see 16 threads in your task manager. For this new chipset, you have to upgrade to DDR4, which is entirely too expensive at this point. Corsair and Asus are pretty much best friends, so I didn't have to worry about compatibility. I don't really game, so I didn't bother to update the graphics card. I just stuck with what worked, and it's quite quiet and cool. If it turns out I need the CUDA cores, I'll just pick up a 960. But as of now, I have no problem running three monitors. Sitting directly below it, not blocking the fan, is my Firewire card. It's Texas Instruments based. For the power supply, I went with an EVGA 850G2. I'm only running one video card, so it's pretty much good enough for me. It has more than enough amperage for what I do. And the fan only turns on under load, so it's pretty much silent. The 5960X does not come with a stock heatsink, and I wouldn't recommend using the stock one even if it did. So to help us out, we're using the Corsair H100i to water cool the CPU. And to make sure we push air through the radiator, we're using Noctua NFF12s in a push-pull configuration. This keeps our CPU at around 56 degrees Celsius under load. And when you have eight cores running, it's pretty important to keep them cool. For optical, mechanical, and solid state drives, we have an LG combo reader, a content storage drive, and my Intel SSD boot drive. For mechanical storage, I have four 500 gigabyte hard drives. These are mainly used for backups. And up top, I have a two terabyte hard drive just for fun. Something you can't see is I have two SSDs tucked behind there, just dedicated for sample storage. So that's pretty much my new PC. I'm going to be using it for production, streaming, and uh, more video like this. There's pretty much no excuse not to. So yeah, keep it real, Thug Life, and uh, lots more videos incoming.